Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for being so patient and supportive recently. A lot of you have actually been messaging me asking me if I'm okay. Uh, no, I am totally fine. As I said two videos ago, this is just like my last week of school, so uploads have been really hard lately. But once that is done with, I'll be back on track with you guys. But I really appreciate all the messages. A few of you did ask me if I was okay or if I was sick or whatnot. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate it and love you guys. Today I wanted to do a haul with you guys. I'm going to show you what I recently got from Sephora. Three things that I purchased came in the mail like two or three days ago. And I wanted to use them a little bit before I showed you what I got so I could do a little explaining as to how they work and whatnot. I'll do a full review of some of these if you want. Just let me know in the comment bar down below. So I was looking on Sephora like last week and I found these things that were very popular and trending at the moment and they were things that I wanted to buy and try out for myself and also so that I could let you guys know how they work. One of the things, however, I have had my eye on for literally months and it has been just sold out everywhere and it finally came back in stock and that is the Ambient Lighting Palette from Hourglass. This has been sold out for months, literally months. Tiffany D was the first person I saw talk about this and then after that it literally just blew up and they sold out of it for months. So as soon as this came back in stock, I put it right in my basket and ordered it. So this is the palette, this is the packaging. It comes in a very sleek brownish, um, brownish copper box. It's the same color as the actual palette, which looks like this. It's very sleek, very thin. It's very high quality. It's, uh, it's a fingerprint magnet, so if that bothers you, then you'll just have to clean it a lot. It's very sleek, you can see here very thin and this is what the back looks like with all the color names and what it is basically is a trio of highlighting well they're not really highlighting designated they are all over facial powders so you could use these to set your under eye concealer to use them all over the face to give a little bit of a glow they are not shimmery they are super super finely milled and they're just beautiful you really can't even notice them when you use them with like a brush all over the face because they're so finely milled, they just disperse very evenly. So that was the first thing that I received when I opened my box and I was super excited about this again because it's been sold out everywhere and I am in love with the luminous light which I have in the full size. So I wanted to get this because I believe it's either incandescent light or dim light that is not available. It's unique specific to this palette so you can't get it anywhere else on its own so it was something that I really wanted to pick up and I will continue to buy all of the colors because I love the formulation of these powders so much. It is quite expensive. I believe it is 52, I think it's $52 if I remember correctly. So it's quite expensive, but you are getting three powders and the full size normal one is about, I want to say 40, 45 or 48 dollars. And these are quite smaller, but you get three of them. So the next thing that I picked up was the Tarte lights camera flashes this i have been hearing so much about and i ugh, people have been raving about it they have been saying the best things about it how great a formulation it is it keeps a curl it lengthens it volumizes so i had to see what all the hype was about and i picked up the lights camera flashes the box looks like this it's just a gold packaging with this faux like snakeskin imprint on it and the packaging itself comes in a tube like this. It's like a woven faux leather again around a tube of mascara. So it's kind of cool. It makes it look a little more edgy. So it has a very nice synthetic wand. It looks very similar to the Physician's Formula Jumbo Mascara wand, but a little bit thinner. I do not like the spoolie mascara, so that's why I decided to pick this up over the other. I think they have another one that had the a spoolie wand that I was looking at, but I chose to go with this one over that because it was more similar to the Lash Blast Length, which you guys know I love so much. So I have used this twice already. I used it today, actually. I don't know if you can see. It makes the lashes look pretty big. Um, I don't know if it, I would wear it every day. It does look like false eyelashes. They are very, very dramatic, and it's not too natural looking, so this is not something I could use every day, but I really like the formulation. It's extremely hard to get off. I do need to use straight just coconut oil and not even a makeup remover will really get it off that well. So 
That being said, it has very good staying power. It's just really annoying to get off. I really like the product. It was $28, so $30 for mascara is quite expensive. I will not be repurchasing this. The Lash Blast Length is just my holy grail mascara. I cannot live without it, and nothing has even been able to hold a candle to it yet. So I will not be repurchasing this, but for looks, for more night outs, Yes, I really like it, but not for an everyday mascara. And lastly, the thing that I am also almost equally excited about as the ambient lighting palette is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I know, I'm a little late. This has this came out a little while ago, and everyone has been raving about it, everyone's been talking about it, but I have not been too big of a palette person until recently. I like buying single things or whatnot, blah, blah, blah. And my thing is because I like to buy a lot of things at once, and a palette is often double as much as what a single product would be, so I like to get more for my money. But I decided to get this palette because I know a lot of you guys have probably seen it or are interested in it. And also, if some of you already have it, it'll be easier for you to do the eye look looks that I, the eye, no, that makes sense. The eye look looks that I do for Monday for you guys. If you already have this palette, you can just use the same color. So that is another reason why I picked this up. And of course, because it smells like chocolate. If you guys didn't know, it does actually smell like chocolate because they use cocoa powder in the shadows. And I'll show you what it looks like right now. And this is the first product that I've tried from Too Faced, so I was really excited to get it. I was, I've heard so much good things about the brand, but I just am really, I'm a very stubborn person when it comes to makeup. I find something that I like and I stick with it. I'm not too adventurous, especially when it comes to like face products or whatnot. And eye products, yeah, I'll try anything. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like. It looks like a chocolate bar. It's so cute. And it is in a tin packaging, so it's very sturdy, very durable. I like that. When you open it up, oop, there I am. There is the mirror, and it says chocolate bar there. And then here are the shadows. It comes with a little plastic film that tells you the name of them, and then there are the shadows. It smells so good. It smells exactly like chocolate. Mm, it's delicious, but it does have a slight baby powdery smell in it, which I think is the talc that they use in most eyeshadow products. It's very hard to find products that don't use it, but the formulation on these is incredible. This They come with quite a few it's a very wide range of colors. There's matte shades, shimmer shades, there's one that is a glittery shade, some are a satin finish. This right here is a highlight color and it's just gorgeous. It's very, I don't know if that's showing up, it's very iridescent. And then they have a matte highlight shade over here which is just a very pretty light white beige color. I'm not going to swatch all of them for you guys but I'll just do a few on my finger so you can see. The pigmentation is really, really great on these. And, yeah. That concludes my very mini Sephora haul. I didn't, like, go super crazy at Sephora. I have way too many points, and I'm very, very close to being VIB Rouge, so I need to calm down just a little bit. I've been a little makeup crazy in the past few months. But that being said, if there is any product that you guys are just really, really interested or dying to find out more about, let me know in the comment bar down below and I'll see you about picking it up at Sephora or online and trying it out for you guys. I will be using this palette in the near future in one of my next upcoming eye looks, so if any of you guys have this palette, stay tuned for that. If you want me to do a full in-depth review of any of these products, let me know in the comment bar down below. And if you guys did not see my last video, that I am doing a NYX giveaway of the 22 matte lipstick shades that they have. It comes in a set available for sale on Amazon right now. All you have to do is go back to that video, which I'll link right here, and leave a comment on that video telling me what you want me to do for next Monday's eye look. And whoever I pick, whichever eye look that I pick, I will be doing that eye look for Monday, and I'll also be giving that person the NYX set. So don't forget to enter in that, guys. It's a really, really great deal, and the shades are beautiful. I also did a swatch video of that, so you can check that out as well. And I will catch you guys later. And as always, thank you so much. I love you all. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with videos and like this one. And, yep, I'll see you guys later. Bye.